When entering hard mode in Terraria, a range of paths open up for each class. The mage class in particular has some of the best early hard mode weapons in the game, like the Sky Francher. Today, we're going to be looking at another obscenely powerful weapon which I see barely anyone talk about, the Spirit Flame. The Spirit Flame is a hard mode magic weapon which can be obtained immediately after killing the Wall of Flesh. For most of this weapon's creation, we need to be in the desert, more particularly, the Underground Corrupt Desert. This can be an intimidating biome in early hard mode due to its insane spawn rate of powerful enemies, so I'd recommend coming equipped with something which can take out enemies from a distance. We're on the lookout for Desert Spirits, as they have a 1 in 40 chance to drop the Desert Spirit Lamp. Luckily, the spawn rate of Desert Spirits is similar to something like Chaos Elements, meaning this didn't take too long to acquire. The next crafting material we need are Forbidden Fragments, two to be precise. I actually had a harder time obtaining these than the lamp. Forbidden fragments are dropped from sand elementals, which are a beast of an enemy that spawn during sandstorms. Waiting for one can take forever as the wind speed needs to exceed 30 miles per hour before it even has a chance of showing up. The other difficulty is actually killing the damn thing with early hard mode gear. I'd recommend getting some wings and a ranged weapon before tackling this, as keeping your distance is the best option, especially when it deals nearly 100 damage and has 10,000 hit points. My patience eventually paid off, and all was left now were 12 souls of night. For this, I'd recommend creating a bog standard underground corruption farm, and you should be able to easily obtain enough souls before you've even finished building it. It's worth noting that you can only craft it at Mithril or Orichalcum Anvils, meaning you'll have to progress through two of the hard mode ores. So then, it's about time we got onto the weapon's performance, and let's just say right off the bat, it's brilliant. The Spirit Flame has a base damage of 85, which is insanely high for when you can obtain it. I'll be running these tests with progression accurate gear, so you can just see how powerful it really is. As you can see, it's ripping through these mimics like they're nothing. What's great about this weapon is, you can store attacks and unleash a barrage of projectiles all at once dealing a truckload of damage. It's great for multi-enemy scenarios too. The fact it fires so frequently means it can take out large groups with ease. The projectiles also deliver enough knockback to keep the player safe from less resistant targets. I guess the question now is, what's it like on bosses? And I'm happy to tell you that it performs equally, if not better, than on regular enemies. This weapon is so overpowered, I confidently attempted Duke Fishrun using it, as I heard this was a go-to for killing Duke Premex. I actually got it over half health, but unfortunately my mobility wasn't good enough for its second phase. I'm sure if you practice and equip some faster wings, this will be about as easy as using post plantara weapons. The Spirit Flame is just that good. I absolutely love weapons like this in Terraria. They convey a sense of risk versus reward. I'd be wrong if I said I was going to use this every playthrough, but it's just another option for those who want to go the extra mile beyond weapons like the Sky Fracture and the Crystal Serpent. Let me know if you've used this regularly in your playthroughs, and if you've taken out Duke Fishron way before you're supposed to, making the rest of the game a doddle. Thanks for watching. For more Terraria content like this, drop a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.